So one of the major, major questions I have been getting is, can I take electronics to basic training? And today I'm going to address that. Um, in one of my previous videos, I did actually talk about it, but I think that it was just in passing. So this video is actually basically going to be for um, the question of if you can take it. The answer, I need my sunglasses. The sun is a bit out today. Anywho, the answer is yes, you can. The only, the good thing is once you take all these electronics to basic, they're going to take it from you and keep it for you so that when you go to AIT, you can take it there. I didn't take my um, laptop. I didn't take my camera. I didn't, and I, till this day, I still regret it because I really, really, really wish that there was a video out there telling me that I could take it. I thought I couldn't take it. And a lot of pack and list videos that I had seen nobody ever talked about it so I figured I would just dedicate just this video to if you can take your electronics a lot of people did bring this so when you go to um, what do you call it your reception they will take all of your electronics from you so they're going to make you list it and put it in a baggie and then they will keep it for you so that's going to be kept for you you don't have to worry about it and then the day you ship to basic training they will give everything back to you and then once you get to basic training you're going to have to um, bring all of that out again so again it's something that is doable they will let you put it away just like you did in um, reception once you put it away if it's time for you to ship out to AIT they will give everything back to you now my AIT allowed us to keep our electronics with us because most people used it to study and so they didn't mind laptops um, tablets uh, think about it even the guys that had gaming systems they allow them to keep it so it doesn't matter it's all AIT is more about your own self-discipline and again everyone's AIT is different I was um I am a 92 alpha I am a 92 alpha and I study at um, Fort Lee in Virginia so they did allow us in fact they did allow us to have our phones on day one when we arrived so we had our phones the whole time the only time they took our phones away from us is when you still had your phone during um light out then they will take your phone for you i the first day we arrived so we didn't know that we couldn't have our phones myself and my battle we had our phones and then the sergeant came in and took our phones from us and of course if anybody knows me I'm going to go and ask for rules and regulations because when we came in, we weren't given any guidelines as to when you can have your phone, when you cannot have your phone. And so for them to come in and take our phones from us, it, it wasn't fair. So I went to the drill sergeant and said, we didn't know about the rules. Now, if we knew about the rules and we didn't obey, it, that's okay. Nobody told us light out time. Nobody told us anything. We were trying to figure it out as we went. You know, going from... A, um, basic training where everything is announced to you by time everything is on the speaker you're told what to leave when to go what to eat one time everything is told to you every step of the way and then you come to AIT where you have to literally figure it out AIT you're treated as an adult so you technically have to figure everything out on your own and so of course it wasn't fair that we didn't know what the time was for light out and what the timing is for when we can and cannot use our phone and then for them to just take it away from us it genuinely wasn't fair so I went to the drill sergeant and of course I pleaded my case and he said it wasn't fair because nobody had told us it's called initial counseling we hadn't received an initial counseling as to what the rules and regulations are when and when we cannot have our phones so he gave the phones back to us because he didn't think that if we didn't know why are we being held accountable for it so again we got it back but it's to say that in this is I'm saying this to let you know that you can have everything back once you get to AIT depending on the length of your your advanced training career you will be able to have your phone back so excuse my light is horrible but I wanted to come on real quick. I don't want to make this video super, super, super long. Yes, 
yes yes you can take your electronics however much electronics you want to take go ahead and take it it's just going to be a lot on your back but it's your choice to each his own so if you want to take it go ahead and take it but yes they will allow you to keep it i hope i have answered you all's question on this particular um issue Thank you so much for watching. Our subscriber base is still going up. Our views are going up. Thank you. If you have any questions, email me or drop it in the comment section and I will answer it. If I can make a video and it's going to help a lot of people, I will do that. I did get millions of questions from one of my subscribers who reached out to me. So I will also try and put videos out there as well. In the meantime, I do have an appointment and I have to go. Thank you so much, Royals, for watching. Once again, stay safe. I'll see you when I see you. Bye, Royals.